Meat Pager. This monkey is playing a game of Pong using only his mind. While this may seem hard to believe, Elon Musk's company Neuralink is making the Matrix movie a reality. Which leads us to ask these important questions. How will a chip implant affect the future of human evolution? What are the dangers? And most importantly, will it help humanity achieve immortality? Currently, no one has all the answers, but we're going to cover the potential outcome of human augmentation in this video. Pager is one of the first test subjects for Neuralink's new brain-computer interface, BCI. The company has implanted tiny electrodes into his motor cortex, which allow him to control a computer with his thoughts. So, while you can say a monkey playing a game of Pong won't make a big difference in the world, keep in mind that this technology is still in its infancy. Technology is growing at its fastest pace in history, and it only gets faster. Not too long ago, we couldn't use the internet when the telephone was being used. Now we have computers in our pockets that are a hundred thousand times more powerful than the ones used to land on the moon. Decades ago, we had to carry large boomboxes to listen to music, and now we can have literally millions of songs in our airpods. Right now, mankind is preparing to land on Mars eventually becoming an interplanetary species. These crazy feats that humanity is pulling off make you think, what other world-changing technology will be invented in the next few decades? As technology advances, society always seems to be on the verge of a new era of exploration. Be it in the discovery of electricity or the internal combustion engine, each innovation has led to unforeseen consequences and a new set of questions about our place in the world. As it develops, we could see people with disabilities regain control of their lives, amputees controlling robotic limbs, and even humans merging with artificial intelligence. The most immediate potential for Neuralink's BCI is helping paraplegics, quadriplegics, and stroke victims. These were one of the first things that Musk wanted to use the technology for when he started the company back in 2016. In the future, Neuralink plans to implant electrodes into the brains of human subjects. If the technology works as intended, it could have a profound impact on the future of human evolution. Some experts believe that brain-computer interfaces could eventually be used to enhance human cognition. This could lead to a new form of evolution, where people with BCIs would be able to think and process information at a much higher level than those without them. Others believe the BCIs could be used to control thoughts. This raises the possibility that humans could one day achieve immortality by uploading their consciousness into a computer. But the question does remain though, if our consciousness is uploaded into a computer, is it really us? Or is it just data the AI has collected over the years, pretending to be human? It may seem that we might need over a century to figure all this out, but there's already a startup that's way ahead of it. Netcom is a company that's working on a way to preserve your brain so it can be uploaded to a computer when the technology is available. The process they're using is called vitrification, and it essentially turns your brain into glass. The company has already created a proof of concept by preserving a rabbit's brain in this way. Netcom gave a rough estimate that by 2024, they'll have a demo of a fully uploaded simulation of a biological neural network. If all goes well, we're only a couple years away from seeing that happen. With all these startups and tech giants working on this technology, it seems inevitable that brain-computer interfaces will become a norm in the future. However, is there a dark side to it? Sure, we may be able to live digitally forever, and we may be able to lengthen our life expectancy, eliminating illnesses and diseases, but at what cost? It's not too far off to say that humanity may become a Black Mirror episode. One of the biggest dangers is Neuralink chip hack. If someone were to gain access to your BCI, they could literally control your mind. They can delete your memories, insert false ones, download all your data, and even control your body. In short, they could make you do anything they want. I know what some of you are thinking. These are supposed to be secure, right? Well, it is. Until someone has access to the technology that can hack it. Which, as we all know, is only a matter of time. Plus, there have been plenty of times when secure systems have been infiltrated. Blockchain is a good example of this, as hackers have stolen around 2 billion in blockchain cryptocurrencies since 2017. And if that wasn't enough, BCIs could also be used for mind control on a large scale. Imagine a world where the government can control whatever you think and feel. 
You might say this is all too far-fetched, but we've already experienced it in the world today. The media, for example, is frequently accused of biased reporting and false narratives. The government often uses influencers to sway public opinion, from letting them read off from a script to keeping our minds distracted with viral dances and nonsense celebrity dramas. Throughout history, it's common to see a world where leaders use their powers to hide the truth from the public, whether it may be constantly blasting news to toy with our emotions or using propaganda to control what we think. So it's not hard to see how BCIs could be used for nefarious purposes. In the past years, there are already millions of people discussing how they might be being watched through the lenses of their webcams. And as of today, we don't know how much of our data is secretly being collected and stored away. Our phone calls, text messages, social media chats, and video calls can easily be monitored by an organization with the technology to do so. And that's currently in the present day. In a world with BCIs, this power would be amplified a million times over. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. With brain-computer interfaces, the potential for abuse is nearly limitless. Eventually, we'll have the ability to communicate telepathically, listen to music, and watch movies directly from our brains. So how much privacy will we really have when BCIs become a norm? We might achieve immortality, but it might not be the same as living a natural human life. We might become more machine than human and lose our very humanity in the process. You can argue that there may be an organization to regulate these devices and make sure they're used safely. But as we've seen in the past, you know how these would normally go. I'm sure the benefits will be great, but the potential for abuse is too high to ignore. Unfortunately, we can't do anything, but watch as it unfolds. What do you think about brain-computer interfaces? Will you be getting a chip implanted when it's available? Let us know your answers in the comments. If this video gave you a new perspective on human life and consciousness, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video.